Kieran, after the highs of last week and the uh, semi-final victory, is it disappointing to see the lads go down against Sheffield tonight? Yeah, massively disappointing. Um, you know, they, losing the game, you know, you're always disappointed when you lose a game, but it's the manner that we're losing games in at the moment. You know, the, the last two weeks, our energy and our effort's been very, very good. And you know, tonight we, we just didn't turn up with. Uh, any energy, we didn't execute of any, any any of our players, and we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. And uh, you know, ultimately, this game's a simple game. If you turn up with energy and, and you execute your players, you're going to give yourself a chance. And uh, we didn't do that tonight. We came up with a lot of errors, and Sheffield punished us for that. Is it a concern how easily we gave away possession? No, I won't say it's a, a concern. Um, you know, we, the thing we talked about was, was making sure of consistency and backing up from the last couple of weeks. And uh, you know, lapses of concentration and, and taking the easy option. Um, you know, not not doing the hard stuff today. I think ultimately cost us. You know, the game is very very simple. If you bring energy, you run harder than your than your opposition. You get quick play of the balls. You get on the front foot and you can play your players. And, and we didn't do that today. Um, you know, certainly they ran harder than us. They had more energy than us. Uh, and then they you know they picked some intercepts off because our players were slow and lazy. How we ran it. Um, and, and that's something certainly as a group you know, we, we have to address because that's been a, probably a constant all year is we, we play what are perceived as the top teams, we turn up and, and we have lots of effort and we execute our players and then the following week we let ourselves down and we've done that again tonight. You mentioned consistency there and you turned up against two of the top teams in the division in, in Toronto and Lee in recent weeks and put in some of the best performances we've had this season. Is that a frustration for you that you can't back it up again tonight? Yeah, it's very frustrating, you know, and uh, you know that's what I spoke about at half time. Uh, it was the, the frustration of you know that first half. You could sit back and think, well, they, they've jagged a try from an intercept, and you know they scored a try from the amount of defending that we, we did on our try line. But ultimately, it was our frustration and our, our consistency in that, and, and our effort. And uh, you know, t tonight we just weren't good enough in, in any areas on the field. We conceded early in the second half and then replied almost immediately after that. Was it again frustrating that you couldn't build on that and then claw your way back into it? Yeah, it was. You know, the second half was very similar to the first half. I thought um, you know we, we just started to get ourselves back into the game. We were building a little bit of momentum and then you know we conceded you know what I, I perceive as a, as a soft try on the back of it and you know that probably knocked the stuffing out of us and you could see the heads drop a little bit and. You know, as a group, we certainly said it before. We have, we have to be better. Um, you know, the good players, the good teams, back up good performances week after week. You know, I know we we've had a short turnaround and we lose used a lot of energy last week, but it's not an excuse for that performance tonight because Sheffield played as well um, in the semi final, and you know it means as much to them as it what it did to us on Sunday to get to Wembley. Uh, but you've got to back it up in league form, and we've not done that tonight. Speaking after defeats to Bradford and Halifax, you you said that. We're chasing games and we're, and we're conceding early on, and, and we're struggling to claw our way back into the, to the game. I've been giving ourselves too much to do. Is that the case again tonight? Do you feel? Yeah, it was a simple message tonight that we we had to come here. Um, you know, I give them six points that we uh, we had to work on, and, and they weren't based. Uh, around game plan as such in terms of rugby they were about our attitude and our effort and our desire execution was one of those and uh, starting well certainly you know when you come to places you come away if you start well you give yourself a foot in the door and we're not doing that at the moment we're inviting teams to come to us and when you play these teams they're very good teams and uh, you give them two tries in front of you and then they get the tails up and they come at you and they, and they don't go away and you know that that's been the tale of the games when we've played away. It was Ted Chappell's 100th game today. Obviously, it wasn't the, the ideal result for him on that occasion. But have you been impressed with him this year? Yeah, I think Ted's. Uh, you know, I think as the season's gone on, he's he's got better and better. Um, certainly, his game time's gone up, and, he, and his carries have have got a lot stronger. And you know, I think he's 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 a big body. Um, you know, he's he's relatively young still, particularly for a front rower. And, uh, you know, one of the benefits of, of him probably playing in the championship is playing every single week, and you know I think that benefits uh, any player when they're playing every single week and they're learning. And he's, you know, he's playing against some tough old, uh, you know, front rowers and experienced front rowers, and he's having to learn his trade. And you know, I think he's progressing nicely. And just on a final note, we made a couple of changes this evening. Uh, is there any injury update on the lads that were left out, and is there any fresh concerns from tonight? No, um, certainly I don't think we play, played hard enough to get any injuries tonight. You know that's probably uh, one pleasing or one positive to take from the game. Uh, from the guys last week, you know, Anthony Gelling was uh, was precaution more than anything. Um, you know he's coming back from his hamstring, and last week was the first time he'd played 80 minutes for a long time, and 
Uh, you know, the last time we played him in a short turner and he picked up another niggle. So that was precaution to make sure we've got him for the rest of the year, um, you know, because the, the season's running out of games now and it's getting in. So Gell should be all right for next week. Uh, Hep should be all right for next week as well. Uh, probably from from last week's game, it is Christine will be out for a couple of weeks. He's he's picked a little bit of a niggle up, but uh, you know, apart from that, we're we're not far off having everyone back in. Uh, and obviously, the the only one is uh, Paddy Arvan with that nasty gash um, he had on his ankle, which is going to take a couple of weeks probably to settle. And uh, I think just from our point of view, you know, thank, thanks to Paddy for what he's done over the the last couple of weeks. You know, sticking his hand up and, and helping the club. Thought he was superb last week, and it'd be great to keep him on for uh, towards the end of the season as well.